Greetings, Earth Star family. We are the Pleiadian Laren Rainbow Orb Collective. Here today with a message of encouragement. The time is now for you to step into your greatness. The time is now to put away all apprehension, put aside all doubts. As to who you are, you are a being of light that travels infinitely. From time to time, it is important to be reminded that you came here at this time for a very, very important mission. We still see a lot of people out there, a lot of incarnated souls from various star systems that are apprehensive and afraid to step into their greatness. They are still afraid of what others may think or say. They're still afraid of what kind of remark they may get from a family member. The time has come and gone to be bashful and to be shy. It is time to quit pretending and to quit making roadblocks in your life. To your greatness path. We notice on some social media, for instance Facebook, as you call it, people may be apprehensive on their own personal timeline to post anything about the angelic realms or star seed incarnates or light workers or indigo or blu-ray children or as such. We must implore you at this time to please, please quit and detach from that. Your parents will understand eventually, if not in this incarnation, in another. Your family will understand. You are called upon at this time to be a leader. Everything that you have that you need is truly within you. At this point, it is time to activate this by focused intentions, meditations, relaxations, connecting with source energy through nature, whatever it takes. But the time has come and gone to be afraid to post things on your timeline that you might Otherwise, post in a group because you'd be afraid somebody might see it and think you're crazy or wacko. There is no crazy or wacko. You are of a highly enlightened mind. You are a highly enlightened being. And as such, you are seeing the world around you while it look, may look like chaos on your mainstream media and news. People are awakening by the mass every day, things are picking up at an accelerated rate now more than ever. It's getting closer and closer and closer to really needing to step into who you are and show that leadership, show love. If they don't agree with you, show them love from afar, but it's very important too at this point that you get out there, speak your point. Don't ram it down anybody's throat, but share the knowledge from a loving perspective. Share the things that you see and feel all around you and the things that you have learned from other star incarnates. Who learned from other star incarnates before them? It's time to show this. So many things, so many things are going to be transpiring. And we realize you've heard that, but just look, look around, look at what's going on with the economic systems, political systems, social systems, the environment. The masses are ready for you to step into that greatness. Something else that comes to our mind is that You must learn 
to start completely operating out of your heart center using your heart logic. We have mentioned this before, but we'll say it again. Very important. Just to once in a while try and ground yourself. It is hard for a lot of star incarnates. The Rainbow Orb Collective lovingly knows this and understands. But by just by staying calm and understanding that this is all part of the process, share your information. Share your knowledge with loved ones. We are in your skies more and more now. You can see that it is clear that our orb collective and other orb collectives from various star nations and angelic realms are out there. They're all around you. And as the veil thins more and more, people around you that may not believe, and they already are, will begin seeing this real soon. We are not predictors of time. We give innate possibilities, of course. But in not too many of your Earth days, months, certainly not too many of your Earth years, the veil will be thinned. You will be able to see ascended beings, extraterrestrial, star brothers, and light worker light brothers and sisters, goddess sisters, you will be able to see them as the density of earth will have cleared to allow them to be seen and to completely manifest into their bodies. Even here at the Orb Collective, we will be able to manifest into our own bodies instead of having to come down in interdimensional spheres fears of light. We are in your skies every night hanging out in our Merkabas, our light ships, our starships, and our motherships. We don't have a lot else to say to you in this particular message, but wanted to stress that it's very important that you put aside any apprehension, no matter what kind of family life you have, no matter your situation, if the situation is that dire, where you really truly can't, and you feel like your life could be in danger, then that's a situation for your own safety that you need to address. But any apprehension of being shunned, embarrassed, or unconfident is not acceptable at this point. The time for that has come and gone. The shyness must subside. You must get out there and show your light, no matter what situation you're in. Whether it's just with a quick smile, a quick look, a quick mention of something to somebody in a grocery line at the store, or maybe you're out for a walk at the park. Maybe you start discussing something of enlightenment, of your star nature, of indigo children and blue rays of the awakening and you can do this by pointing to at first pointing to events going on in the world right now that we had mentioned earlier Mars Mars is another big deal there will be more real soon to come onto Mars to the mainstream public you will maybe find out perhaps that um that the entire planet really is not red. Some of the skylines could be green, could be blue like ours, in different parts of the planet. You will also come to the realization that the moon, at certain times during its revolvement, has yellow, saffron, beautiful skies. We know how this would sound to some of the people that you know in 3D. But people are awakening. And if you use the right loving approach and talk to them, not at them, with them and not down to them, you may be surprised 
how this works. We love you unjudgmentally, unconditionally. We would only say that we would really, really urge you to stop. Stop caring what other people think, especially your families. Quit. You are only being selfish in holding back from humanity. No matter what situation you're in. Like we said, if it's that dire, it's one you need to get out of immediately. It's time to mobilize. It's time to be aware of this stuff when you're out in 3D world, shopping at the park, at a doctor's office. It doesn't matter. Even those of you stuck going to a organized religion church, even there and especially there, it's important that you in slight subtle ways mention the quickening and the awakening and be there for further questions for people that may have them. With that, we will go ahead and depart at this time. The Rainbow Orb Collective from Lyra and the Pleiades We'd like to wish everybody a safe and happy Earth Weekend. Namaste.